Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. In today's episode, we're gonna be talking about the best investment you can ever make, and that is in yourself. So without further ado, let's get going. We got a lot of things to do. So uh, I got the Uber already waiting outside for me, so let me jump in that Uber and uh, head to Ed Centro, and we're gonna continue this conversation as we go along throughout the day. Every time I come out of the Uber, um, it always leaves my hair all like this. It means I gotta get a haircut, that's for sure. So, all right guys, today, you know, again, um, if you guys liked the, the first video I made so much, you know, talking about, you know, just walking you around my day and showing you around, uh, that's what we're gonna be doing today. Now, we gotta walk all the way later on for a little while, so right now, I'm just gonna give you a quick little brief as to where I'm going and what I'm doing. Literally, I'm gonna meet up with my lawyer and help uh, another client of mine, help him with his visa situation. And that's it, that's why I'm kinda like in this area right now and uh, I gotta do that. I got my bag, you know, full of stuff because from here, I gotta go to another part of its center and another part, and I'm on foot today. That's why I decided to just come on, you know, come in an Uber, so that way, you know, it'll minimize my walking. So, all right guys, without further ado, uh, I'll see you on the flip side, all right? Let me go take care of this. They're already waiting for me outside. All right, guys, so I'm already done with the appointment, and now I'm on my way uh, to the next thing I gotta do. So I'm basically, now I'm gonna be walking towards Paseo Montejo, all right, um, where I gotta go to the bank and get some money out. That's it, that's basically it. Let's check this out right here. This thing was just full of people like two seconds ago. Um, this is uh, the Infonavit office. I think we're on 39 and 74 for those of you guys that are interested. Because I know you guys watch me for all kinds of content. It's on my regular channel, by the way, but still, regardless. So, yeah, I was just in the corner of 74th and 39th. I'm going to start doing that a little more on my regular channel. Um, so, you know, a lot of you guys know exactly where I'm going and what I'm doing. And so, Info Navi, what is that? That is basically like the home, um, the thing for homes, you know what I mean? So, like, um, kind of like Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac of Mexico. And basically how it works is like... Um, for you know let's say you're poor or you know middle lower middle class and you want to try and get that home and you know you're not going to get that loan because you can't afford you know the, the money right off the bat um that's where they step in so you come in there and you get like a, a a government home you know from them and it's like a government loan and yada 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 i don't know too many details on that but that's kind of like what it is so that's like the government help that you would get out here you know what i mean uh one of the few times you know that the government you know works out here which is great remember i'm all about you know um taking care of yourself and doing your own thing and not having to rely on anybody else and all that jazz so um and that's what we, you know one of the things that we're going to be talking about in today's episode which you already mentioned at the beginning which was investing yourself you know i've talked about it many times in fact i'm never going to get tired of talking about it that's basically a lot a lot of what all my youtube channels are all about and it's all about investing in yourself. You gotta invest in yourself in whatever shape that, that takes, you know what I mean? And uh, so in this case, you know what I mean? Like for example, you know, we're talking about health. We're gonna be talking about a few things. So right here, I'm, I'm walking right next to the police station, okay? You know, this is for everybody out there, you know, that is still, you know, wondering what the laws are out here, okay? On certain things. So, you know, just a quick reminder. Um, so health you know what i mean so you gotta take care of your health man you know that's first and foremost you know what you gotta do and whether it's your mental health your physical health um but it doesn't matter your health is you know your your most one of your most important things and so you know for me personally the reason i'm not taking an uber and i'm walking through my old neighborhood by the way you know i don't know if you, see, you guys remember but you know i used to live like not too far from here um walked around, down this street many times but the reason i'm doing this I'm walking in this very, very hot sun, which again, I know it's still winter, but it's still hot because that's where I live in a hot region. 
I'm out here exercising, exerting myself. Um, I'm also trying to make some, some better life decisions when it comes to food. Recently, for many factors, you know, whether it was the quarantine and spending a lot more time at home, even though you guys know I do a lot of uh, exercise, I still gotta do more. Um, again, even the doctor said I gotta do more physical activity. Um, and uh, now, me personally, the doctor didn't tell me this because it was a you know orthopedic doctor but anyways long story short um he was i gotta get on the, the shade over there so the doctor was basically saying to me um i mean i was saying to myself i gotta start eating healthier why because all of a sudden now as all this heat and humidity is hitting me i'm starting to feel back like when i used to be really fat and overweight and so i don't know if i told you guys before i've made a video on my channel before i'll probably link it at the end of this video if you're interested about my weight loss you know story in fact walking around this neighborhood talking about my story of how i lost my lost my weight i used to weigh around 280 290 pounds so and um right now i'm around two 200 but it's not that i'm gaining weight per se even though i am a little bit i know i could tell um but so is my wife and so is gizmo and uh this is our first year married and uh you know <laughs> we've been you know living a good life i don't know what else to say you get what i'm saying eating good food living a good life being lazy you know just certain things like that and um it's not healthy to live like that you know what i mean it's just not and so that's what i think it's dirty here hold on i just realized it sorry anyways but it's not healthy to live like that so you know i made a conscious decision actually she's been trying to help me make this conscious decision a little more than than her than me um but at the end it's not even that again it's a drug you know what i mean we talk, again i'm not going to talk about the weight loss situation we all know sugar is a drug it's all carbohydrates yada 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 and um you know we all know what's going on you know what i mean like it's like when when we and so this is like the whole thing about today about taking care of yourself you got to motivate yourself you got to you know be 1000 percent you know um truth you know what is it like, truthful with yourself you gotta like again stop, not lie to yourself if um and that's what a lot of people do a lot of people are just lying to themselves all day every day about everything that's going on you know whether you know it's a simple thing as uh weight loss or the mask situation or whatever so or many on many many so many things that are happening in society today so you know with that being said you know right now you know um what's going on is that for a lot of people you know what i mean like uh well, you know what for, we're gonna get to that i don't want to skip over that hold on but at least for me personally hold on let me finish my thought originally right so for me personally like i know that i'm already you know getting um out of shape you know what i mean because it, it's not you know not only am i doing less activity than i normally do um but i gotta switch up the activity that i do you know work different muscle groups you know work different parts of the body number one and then number two i also gotta eat healthier you know what i mean like i just gotta eat healthier that's basically more more than anything else 80 percent, 70 percent of what i gotta do is just eat healthier i've been eating eating a lot of pizza a lot of uh ho-hos you know <laughs> for this jose you know what i mean because you already know um and just shit like that you know what i mean a lot of twinkies a lot of uh you know all kinds of things like that so i just i know that i gotta you know get myself healthier you know it's it's not just you know the exercise it's not just um the vitamins and uh you know um you know getting out things like sun and uh and and you know and eating healthy sometime but no it's actually doing it all the time and um yeah that's it you know what i mean like again i was out I, I, today i saw an old friend i hadn't seen in a while as well and um it was just funny because when i saw him last he was more overweight and um and i was skinny and now i'm like damn bro we fucking keep flipping around you know now i'm getting fat and you're getting skinny <laughs> and so and again you know that's relative it's not necessarily that i'm you know getting fat and super out of shape but at least enough for me where i'm noticing and it's affecting me 
and my performance and I don't want it to. So I already know what I need to do and it's not gonna be easy, but I gotta do it. So now let's segue into the next thing, okay? Let's segue into the next thing, which is, you know, the whole mask thing again. I'm not gonna harp on it too much, you know, but again, and again, I don't wanna make this about, you know, these vlogs are talking about, but, but you know, these are things that are on my mind as well. And especially before I hit play, there was a few things that I've noticed and I just, so about the health, if, if it's like investing in yourself, right? Think about it like this. If you're investing in yourself, right? When it comes to wearing the mask, again, you gotta think about you. You gotta invest in you. So if that is a situation, and you know that wearing it is gonna be detrimental to your health, well then that should answer whether you should wear it or not. And um, whether, you know, if you wanna sacrifice your health, okay, for the potential, hypothetical, that maybe one day, you won't bump into a grandma and then kill her. Which again, we how many oh, how many old people have survived this, you know? And they're like, child, I had it worse than the Great Depression or whatever the fuck, you know? So I don't even want to hear it. But anyways, I digress. That is also about the health, you know? Because again, as you, we were mentioning, the whole mental aspect of all this as well is that you know, taking care of yourself, investing in yourself, you know, you gotta invest in your mental health and take care of your mental health. That's how you would be able to deal with a situation like this where it's like, again, oh, I'm feeling overweight, what do I gotta do? And you just take responsibility for yourself. You, you know, you know what I mean, the truth, and you go with it and that's it, and you don't make excuses. I mean, that's basically it, because a lot of people are like, oh, you make it sound so easy, or this guy makes it sound so easy. Well, yeah. It, 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 Anyone can make it sound really easy because, you know, but the, the process of doing it is hard. But is it hard or is it harder to continue to spiral out of control and to, you know what I mean, and to become, you know, um, so impotent in, in who you are that you feel helpless and you can't do anything ever again. Hola, hey! You know, so, <laughs> so just things like that, you know, like, um, so, you know, when it comes to the whole mask thing, you know what I mean? Like when I just started thinking about it like that, about, you know, from the health perspective, but in a different, you know, meaning that, you know, the investing yourself thing, you know what I mean? So, you know, a lot of people might have clicked on this video thinking it's about financial advice and things like that. And uh, guess what? In a sense, you know, I am telling you to invest in yourself. So investing in yourself is probably gonna cost you money. 99% of the time it will cost you some sort of money. Um, but at the same time, it can make you a lot of money. Um, you might think that it's gonna close a lot of doors or, you know, cost you a certain amount of money that would, um, you know, again, normally be unaffordable to you and that you might need it for something else important. But when you realize that you are the most important thing that you need to take care of first and foremost, and you invest in yourself first and foremost, then all of a sudden you'll realize, wow, I've taken, taken care of myself so well that now I can do all these other things that I was never able to do. So, you know, right now, you know what I mean? As I am, uh, you know, walking around without my mask and making videos talking about this topic and bringing it to light, I'm helping other people do what I'm doing. And um, why am I able to do this? Well, because I have a platform that I built in order to make sure that, you know what I mean? Uh, well, first of all, I built a platform you know, just so can people listen to my my dumb stuff, all right? But that here, let me let me flip it around. Let's look at some art while I talk. But anyways, my the platform that I've built has allowed for me to not just voice my opinion, but to influence as well. And so the reality is, is that you know, from the moment about a week ago when I started, you know, talking more about this topic and bringing it up to light and things like that, I see more and more people all of a sudden, like, and they're just encouraging me to keep doing more and talking about it more, but other people here, let me show you a little bit. I'm going to do this on my other channel. I'm going to come out here with my bike and show you guys a little bit more, but you guys can check out all the new things that they're doing. Look, a bike lane. I don't want to get in this guy's way. All right, but... Finally, as soon as I move out, that's when they make all the awesome improvements. How hilarious. So, you know, let's just get this B-roll shot, you know, this guy right here. 
you know? <laughs> and it's all she wrote. All right, so let's keep going. So, <laughs> but I just decided to walk around. So yeah, a lot of uh, construction been going on, a lot of improvement going on all over, all around this whole area and around the city. And, you know, again, when people ask me, it's like, oh, why is everyone wearing a mask? Why is there still a curfew? Why is, it's like, well, because they still haven't finished building and constructing and doing all this. They're still working all over the city, you know? Once they feel that they're finished or the people feel like they've finished, then that's when everything kind of will go back to normal. You know what I mean? But, bro, you already know. I mean, we talk about it on this channel. Well, we used to talk about it on a more regular basis, but I stopped talking about it because it's like people are just not listening, even though it's right in their face. Literally, it's all going back to the mask. You know I mean, it's like, you know, people are just, you know, holding on to, you know, the, the whole, you know, the, the stigma from society, you know, um, and they've picked their sides and their teams. And, you know, that's basically what's kind of like dictating the whole mask situation. You know what I mean? And when you see somebody wear it or not, you know what I mean? And so, you know, basically that people don't want to admit that they're wrong. People that, you know, have um, doubled down on their insanity. And uh, because of all that, you know what I mean? And again, it's just like anyone else. You know how they always say, don't lie? You know what I mean? The, the whole web of lies thing. So that's kind of like where it's at. You know, these people that are pushing a cer this certain agenda of like, you gotta wear the mask. You know, you gotta keep everything on the super control lockdown, yada, yada, yada. Oh, look, I'm gonna show you. I don't know what's, uh, oh yeah, they're at the bank. So this is like the central bank here. So there's a Mexican central bank. All right, and so what they're doing here, what you're gonna see is that they're literally you know, I guess they're getting some money and they're doing something with the banking situation here. Because as you can see, you see some military, you know, you're seeing them right in front of the bank. Must be something going on here in the sense of like, they're moving something, they're doing something. Oh, I love the trucks. I love the, that looks so beautiful. Look at that. I love like, the, the shapes, you know what I mean? Like it's like, it looks like uh, you're in the matrix or something. Bruh. I think we're in the matrix, but that's another conversation for another walk, another day, right? But again um as i said you know things are very different out here you know the president out here has already said you know you don't got to wear the mask anywhere meaning no business no nothing there shouldn't be any lockdowns there shouldn't be any any of these things going on and so certain states are choosing to you know risk you know what is it like uh how about this every state in the country has to respect what the president says now if the people within the country want to act a certain way well that's up to them you know it's, it's a free country to wear it or not wear it right you know so all he you know but he, he made it you know strictly you know 1000 percent you know like aware to everybody that you don't have to do anything all right so but so anyway it's all voluntary so so it's just back to that you know what i mean like you know everyone that is wearing theirs has their agenda whatever that agenda is you know, some people don't want life to go back to normal. Think about that. You know what I mean? A lot of people just have not realized that. You know what I mean? There's a lot of motherfuckers out there that just do not want. Oh, I got to cross here. They do not want. Let me do it now. <laughs> um, they do not want, um, you know, things to go back to normal because they got their own agenda. Whatever that agenda is, you know, it's just basically they don't want to go back to work. They don't want this, they don't want whatever it is. It doesn't matter. There's a lot of people like that. We gotta recognize that. You know, there's a lot of people, you know, all over the world that have their agenda, whether it's they don't want to admit that they were wrong, you know, whether their team, you know, is uh, the one pushing this or not. You get what I'm saying? You know, there's so many, many little factors like that. And that's kind of like what's driving this whole thing. So, all right guys, I'm at the bank. Let me show you kind of like where I'm kind of going here. All right. And that's it. So I can't really show you much because, again, I can't film inside the bank. But let me just at least show you a little bit as to what I can. And then we'll go from there. So, again, because if I film here, I'll probably get slapped by somebody. You know what I mean? Like, how dare you film my thing? You know? So, all right. Let me get my, uh, my money. <laughs> and I'll see you guys on the walk back. We're going to walk all the way down for, you know, a long walk. We got a lot to talk about. Okay? So a lot of exercise today. All right, so we got the money at the bank. Now we're heading to another uh, stop. I gotta go see another client, a friend of mine actually. I'm um, gonna drop something off, uh, some keys. I gotta drop off, okay? So 
gotta go do that so again you know what i mean I, I would normally be ubering and stuff like that and no that's it enough so back to basics you know and all sense of the the definition so now we're walking so we're walking all the way to the other end all right now back to what we were talking so to me it's like the hypocrisy behind all this is just insane and hilarious and and when people talk hey what are you <laughs> i thought they were saying hi to me i don't know <laughs> but anyways um but the point is is that at the end you know i'm just in my own little world here right but you know back to investing in yourself and that whole thing you know so you know again to me it's just like the the insanity the hypocrisy behind all this you know where it's like you know how they're dealing with all this so i come you know from remember i used to be a chef all right i come from a certain background well when you're in that world in that field that you know how much they drill into you and they you know they that you know you have to learn almost more than cooking it's almost more important than cooking which is insane to me but that's another story for another day where what they do is that they drill into you they force into you all this um you know health and sanitation and you know all of these things that go with all that you know what i mean which in, again it was overkill but whatever and the fact that how i see people all over the place how they you know they they use sanitizer they put their mask in their face and they, you know they're in the bubble and the whole whatever but then they just do this one little thing that literally brrr, erases all this you know work that they put into you know staying away from whatever and this is like you know, it's constant it's constant and I'm, I'm i'm ever since this started like a year ago i've been constantly watching this and it's just man this is so crazy i mean so crazy you know what i mean because it's like it's like again if you really do want to follow the science you know what i mean literally follow the fucking science then that alone you know what i mean should be able to i mean if you're if you know anything about these things you're like bro you know what i mean these people are just infecting themselves more you know what i mean everything that they're doing every single freaking thing that is supposed to be something to to fight this is actually something to to literally strengthen it and so you know to me it's like whatever man you know what i mean i know my science I know, you know, um, the truth, you know what I mean? Um, and, and again, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But the point is, is that, I, I, you know, ever since the beginning, and I saw everybody fall for this, at first I was like, well, of course they're gonna fall for it. A lot of them don't have a lot of this base knowledge. Um, but then when I saw what was really going on, what they were really trying to do and push, I was like, oh, hell no. And so again, from the very beginning, like my whole mission, my whole, everything I was doing is investing in myself and taking care of myself and um as an investor i had some insider knowledge and how to take care of my body and even though the people on you know the news aka the you know and not investing knowledge at this point because you know there's not going to be hey, look I, I guess they did, did their twirl around or whatever i just want to show you because a lot of people like always like to see that stuff and then we got the tourist bus all the way over there so i, I love the contrast you know what i mean it's very different out here and again in a good way another again you know with so many topics if you want to know more about what i think about you know the the military the police and all that stuff out here check out my other channel i actually do videos on it but anyways check out the tourism real quick for a minute but again just going back to the science you know what i mean like the real science you know what i mean from the scientist yes science that's been around forever you know what i mean and or at least for as long as we've been doing all this shit. um you know at the end of the day you know the reality is is that if you're really gonna follow that then you, you know that everything that's going on is, is beyond insane you know what i mean it doesn't make any sense um from that perspective you know from a health and hygiene perspective everything that's going on does not make any sense at all and it's only more like a petri dish you know for all this stuff so again knowing all these things i'm like well no you know what i mean like again you know just going back to taking care of myself on every level remember at the beginning we were talking about i gotta take care of my i gotta take care of my health like that guy you know what, what are you doing go ahead what, oh geez i say now he's not gonna wait for me is that i don't get it portlandia bruh <sighs> so anyways <laughs> yeah i know man sometimes it can be very distracting you know um i don't even, you know i i i got I, it's just sometimes i'm at a loss for words when i see things like that but i don't know man again i don't know um i'll keep i'm trying to keep my thoughts to myself here and be very cordial but anyways back to what i was saying back to what i was saying like literally so again if you really 
you know, back when all this started and all this, you know, was going on, I was like, man, no way. I mean, I got I to continue investing in myself and taking care of myself and some other entity out there, which I already know does not have my best interest in me, um, which literally has lied to me this whole time about my health. I mean, again, when it comes to like, you know, how they've lied to us and said, you got to, you know, eat sugars and cereals and carbohydrates and stay away from eggs and stay away from and I don't want to go through all that again. But you already know that they, they don't tell you about immune health. They don't tell you about, you know, eat right, eat healthy. None of that. You know, um, in fact, they tell you the complete opposite, which is, again, um, to love yourself for who you are, even if you're a 600 pound whopper, which is, again, there's nothing wrong with that. But again, you know what I mean? Like that's not the right message. You know, it's all about health and taking care of yourself and uh, making sure that, you know, again, you know, like, you know, you're able to, you know, um, function correctly. And so who's gonna know your body better than you? Nobody, you know, only you know your body better. So why all of a sudden are you, you know, delegating to this group of people that have, that has literally been lying to you, not just about your health, but has been lying to you about you know, whether it's the Federal Reserve and the finances and the this and the that, or what, I mean, I could go on and on. I mean, you know me, don't get me started, but literally they have been lying to you forever and ever. Um, most of us, before this whole virus thing started, were fighting, you know, amongst each other, you know, fighting, you know, basically, um, you know, whether, whether it was a feminist, you know, fighting or whether it was a Black Lives Matter fighting or whether, you know, it doesn't matter. You know, all kinds of infighting within, you know, uh, conservative groups, you know, for all kinds of shit. I don't want to get into it. And so when this whole virus thing happened, it just put everything to a stop. And now everyone's in fighting again, but with a mask on and everyone's fighting. But again, with a different, you know, like agenda. And it's, it's just everything's just doubled down and just gotten, you know, more insane. And uh, now really everything is falling apart, like for real, for real, when it comes to the economy and so many other things and nobody Nobody's paying attention. So instead of instead of listening to what was being told to the masses out there, I listened to myself and to what I knew. So I took care of my finances. I'm doing great. You know what I mean? A lot of people are not. I took care of my health. I'm doing great. You know, some people are not. And and that can go on and on. Okay, so here, here's another housing situation here. I don't know what this one is, but this is something also very similar. I don't know what they do here, but it's something kind of the same. You know what I mean? So everybody's out here, you know, just waiting for whatever, you know, to get housing or what have you. And um, yeah, you know, this place has been packed, you know, all throughout the whole thing, just like uh, certain offices in certain places out here. You know, again, just depending on the agenda and what they want to get done. So anything that has to do with construction, building and growing, man, they have not shut that down. But when it comes to other things, you know they shut certain things down you know I, i've said this again this is happening all over the world this ain't unique here you know but it's just a, all this is going on is just again um a war against the poor so again how do you again i don't want to sound fucking how i sound because it, i don't know you know what i just sound like me whatever bro the point is is that knowing that this is a war on the poor you know what i mean what are you gonna do you know what I mean? What are you going to do about it? You know what I mean? Think about it. Think about that for one second. You know what I mean? If you already know this, or, 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 you know, literally, what's, you know, you already know what's going on. You already know what's going on with the Agenda 21. You already know what's going on with all of these things that you spend all day on the internet looking all this shit up. What are you going to do about it? Hmm? Are you going to continue watching videos on it and do nothing? Or are you actually going to do something about it? So again, take care of yourself. Invest in yourself. Invest in yourself, man. If life is the only thing that matters, why are you trying to keep all this stuff in a place that, you know, basically is, you know, wants you to live in a world in which you own nothing and love it. We need a great reset. <laughs> <laughs> So get the fuck out of there, okay? And so, you know, there's a million places, you know, to look for. Um, I share them all the time on my on my channels and my social medias and all this other stuff. So figure it out, you know what I mean? And if you've already figured it out, start putting some work into it, all right? And, and so on and so forth. But you gotta invest in yourself. No one's gonna invest in you. Remember that, they're not investing in you. They keep telling you to literally sacrifice yourself even more 
for everyone else. Okay, whether well, sacrificing your health, sacrificing your finances, sacrificing your life, all you're doing, all you're doing is sacrificing. You know, it, and you know, I am in the land of the fucking Mayans and the Aztecs, you know? They sure did a lot of motherfucking sacrificing of people back then. You get what I'm saying? And they were savages. And that's an old another story. I don't want to get into that. You know what I mean? But when the fucking Spanish came here and everyone's like, oh, the Spanish are the crazy motherfuckers. Bro, if you really know this history and really what the fuck was going on back then, man. <laughs> you know, the Spanish figure. Man, anyways, this is a long story. For, again, I got many stories. And that's what we're going to keep doing on this channel um, as time goes on. You know what I mean? Like, um, you know, this is just the first, uh, a second of many, 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 many more episodes like this. So, so back to what I was saying. You know, at the end of the day, man, you know what I mean? Like, it's... Uh, no one's gonna invest in you. No one's gonna take care of you. No one's gonna give a fuck about you. No one's gonna, you gotta do that for yourself. You gotta do that for yourself. And then once you take care of yourself adequately, which I have, okay, that's why I'm now making videos again, um, then you can help everybody else. But if you're not taking care of yourself first and you're not putting yourself number one, then how the fuck are you gonna be able to help anyone else? Look, how about this? When it comes to like asking for help, when you ask somebody for help, you really want somebody to help you. You know, meaning, you know, you want them to do what you need them to do. Don't you hate it when you ask for help and then that person now wants to tell you how to do what you want to do? Like, what the fuck, bro? I didn't ask you for your opinion. I didn't ask you for, for all these other things. I just asked you for help. Can you help me move this, this couch over here? I didn't, I didn't ask for your feng shui. Um, you know, like, you know, uh, was it your feng shui opinion or whatever? You follow me? So it's like the whole thing. So going back to taking care of yourself, you know what I mean? Like by me being able to take care of myself and, and, and be at my best, then all of a sudden I can help you guys with what you need for reals. You know what I mean? And, uh, and really be a better help. Because again, if I'm not taking care of myself, I can barely keep my shit together. How the fuck am I going to really help you at a hundred percent capacity? You follow me? So you know, there's many things I want to do in my life. You know what I mean? One thing being, you know, again, these videos and, um, you know, um, the pleasure I get from helping people in whatever way that I can and so on and so forth. But man, you know, one thing that I really have to do in order to maintain that is that I, I literally have to take care of myself and put myself number one. So like it or not, me not wearing my mask, I'm literally, you know, um, sacrificing myself. You know what I mean? And I'm putting myself out there, you know what I mean? So that, you know what I mean? I could catch this shit, right? I could, you know, God forbid, right? God, God, you know, what could happen? But guess what? You know what I mean? I'm doing it, man. I'm out here and putting myself in danger and I'm uh, dealing with this shit head on um, in every aspect that, you know, you can imagine. As you guys know, you guys watch my content and my stuff and um, that's it. So, you know, you gotta, you know, again, you gotta, if you're gonna sacrifice, you got to be in control of what you're going to sacrifice, okay? You know, if, if they throw you into the volcano as a sacrifice, again, you got to be willing to, to be the sacrificial lamb. You know, if they're throwing you in there, that's, that's, uh, that's kind of called murder, I think, right? So, you know, or whatever you want to call it. But the point is, is that that's what's going on. You know, there's a lot of all this uh, self-sacrifice that people are, you know, being asked to do. And when, you're, and when you really look and analyze the self-sacrifice, you realize like, well, wait a minute, it doesn't make any sense. You know, why am I sacrificing so much out of my life just for the potential of maybe saving, you know, a few lives or the potential of maybe impacting a tiny, you know, group. Come on. Oh, wait, I think, it's, I think this is a street. Hold on, I forgot where I gotta go. Yeah, okay, I'm on the right street, sorry. <laughs> I was already about to go the wrong way. Bruh. But, yeah, man, you know, you gotta, you know, you gotta self-analyze and you gotta figure out, you know what I mean? If the sacrifice that you're putting yourself and your body through, is it worth it in the end, in the long run? And with what they're telling you, it's, it's, it's you know, it's, it's worth and, and, and for. And so, again, going back to taking care of yourself, hola. Oh, yeah. Nice car. <laughs> you gotta learn to take care of yourself like that guy. You know, he ain't wearing no mask in the car. You know what I mean? Are you kidding me right now? You know what I mean? Like, why? Why? Again, I, I don't even understand the logic behind that. Just like I don't understand the logic behind any of these things. But am I gonna ruin my mental health 
trying to dissect all this crap. No, man, I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Like, let people be crazy. I'm crazy. Leave me the fuck alone. You know what I mean? So, anyways, speaking of which, gotta get out of here. I'm already almost at my destination. I see it. All right, so long episode, long day. Um, basically, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna meet up with my friends, give them the key, take a little break, and then I'm gonna call the Uber home, okay? Because that's it, I'm tired. <laughs> oh, by the way, so look, check it out. Got my new shoes, hope you guys are liking them. Look at that. Got two pairs of shoes, I got my insoles. That's right, you know, so I'm also kind of putting my, my, my body, my muscles to work, you know, so I can make sure that when I get to Oaxaca, I can be at the best shape possible, you know? <laughs> so there's a lot of walking, there's a lot of hills, all that stuff so but anyways back to what i was saying so again if you just continue doing what you do and you love eventually the opportunities just fall into you which brings me to the next segue if you guys listen to the podcast and follow the podcast all of a sudden now um we're really being syndicated you know some uh some guy reached out to me he has this thing called crazy boy radio links i'm gonna see if i can put the link at the bottom but basically, yeah, you know, not only are we live streaming on our YouTube thing and we upload the podcast, you know, um, twice a week. Um, by the way, we go live every Tuesday and Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. And, um, you know, we upload. And again, plus the Mexico Travel Channel, plus, you know, all the other things that I do. In fact, what you should do is uh, check out my website so you can find everything there. But anyways, long story short, um, yeah, we're now, you know, <laughs> another crazy person approached this crazy person to, you know, be syndicated on his show, which has many, many viewers, lots of viewers. So that's it. With that being said, I'm going to let you guys go. All right. So I think I'm here. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell like on. Don't forget to stay awesome. And uh, I love you guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh, yeah, you beat me to it. <laughs> Hello. Later, guys. Bye.